this is a tutorial on how to make a bibliography because we're needing this for our Fight for a Cause project. We're going to try to make this as quick as possible. So that is a video and you can pause it and take the steps at your own pace. We've been using SIRS Discover through Mac and Via. So I have got, already got it open through the app. I also logged into Mac and Via on Safari in case I run into any problems. And then I also had to log into SIRS in another tab on my Safari. So here is one of the articles. Um, this was just the basics for fracking, so I did not use this, but I actually looked in viewpoint two and read this article here, the first one called Fracking Comes Under Fire. So when I click on it, it's opening up in this wonky page. And so I'm already open in Safari, so I can use the button in the top uh, right to open in Safari, or I can try this refresh button. And sometimes that works. What's nice is this actually zoomed in on the part that we particularly need, this blue box. This is holding all of the information that I need for getting my bibliography. I'm going to be citing my sources. So that means I'm using this quotation mark and cite. When I click on it, it brings up a pop-up window. This pop-up window is automatically set to be MLA8. This is the most frequently used form of citations, um, and that's just talking about the way the information is laid out. Uh, you'll notice that the information changes slightly if you change to APA or one of the other options. So I'm just simply gonna click on the copy button, that blue button, and it helps to take my information from there. I'm posting it in my notability file, which I've already labeled, hashtag FF. AC research citations. I'm simply going to tap and paste my information. To separate each of the citations, I am hitting return twice so that I will have a space. I go back into my Mac and Via, close the site, uh, go back out. The second article that I read and took notes on was new fears about fracking. I click on that one. The blue box has moved a little bit, um, but it's still got all the information, so I'm using the quotations, cite, click on that, copy it, double tap, go into my notability, and paste the information. Again, hit return, return. Another one for my research that I used. Oh, I went out too far. Another one that I used was under more viewpoints. This uh, article that was just underlined, what is fracking? So when I click on that one, look for the blue box, click on site, click on copy, double tap, notability, hold, paste, and hit the return return. I'm gonna put some spaces up here. And let me grab just one more because each of you should have three to four different sources. You were to complete three to four worksheets. So we'll do um, this one and cite, copy, double tap, notability, paste my information. Okay, so everything looks pretty good right here. Uh, the one thing I do want to note is currently all this information is just in the order that I put it in. So if you look at the very first letter, C, N, O, H, these are currently not in alphabetical order. So I want them in alphabetical order. So that means I'm going to have C, H, N, O. So go back to text. I'm simply going to select this one. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to move it right up here. Get 
and my spacing reset. And there we go. I have them all in alphabetical order now. I can get rid of my notes. The last step is checking for a hanging indent. So a hanging indent is one that has the information and then hangs out further than the rest of the information. And so to do that, I'm going to have to hit return at the end of the line and then do five spaces. So I'll take care of that very quickly. Click and hold to get my cursor there. Return, one, two, three, four, five. Click and hold after the, oh, I can put the enter there. One, two, three, four, five. Click and hold, return, one, two, three, four, five. And I just continue to do this with all of the other entries that I have. What's neat is when I'm doing this in Notability, all of my hyperlinks are actually still working. So I can still click on them and actually open them up in Notability or in Safari, but I will need to be logged into Mac and via in SERS Discover since that's where I got them. So final step is to just get this information submitted to Schoology in my teacher's assignment. Uh, she has a due date for me. And um, if you want to make it look real fancy, you can do a full heading with the name, the teacher, uh, the title, hashtag FFAC research citations, and then all your information. I hope you find this helpful and please check in with your teacher if you have additional questions.